Boss feed off. So here is a pro dating to 2003. Here is the consummate veteran, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, arguably the greatest mixed martial arts athlete the state of Florida has ever produced. Longtime staple of the American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. He's got heart, the toughness to go with it, cardio, an outstanding jab, and a submission game to go with it. This is one of the more well-rounded welterweights in the world, and as such, he has vaulted into title contention. This guy is taking shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. So here's the proud rep of the 209, Stockton, California zone, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter, Nate Diaz. Had a lot of big moments in the UFC, but of course none bigger than the submission win over Conor McGregor at UFC 196. And now the big paydays have started to follow, rightfully so, for a guy who has one of the bigger fan bases of anyone on this UFC roster. Nate Diaz has outstanding cardio, a long reach, excellent striking, and a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This combination of skills has kept him amongst the best in the world at 155 pounds. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Masvidal is one year his senior. Diaz is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Bergliotta. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, only a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Body out of Miami, Florida, Jorge. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, ladies and gentlemen, and ultimate fighter season winner, Nate All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, you ready? You ready? Well, a huge night of UFC action coming your way. It all begins right now as we start up with this first fight from United Center in Chicago. All right, ready to go round one, and as usual, so is Jorge. Game bred Masvidal. This is a man who has seen it all. Totally unfazed by anything that could be coming his way. The majority of his UFC fights have gone the distance, but we have seen an uptick in aggression lately as he's moved into welterweight contention. Another big one for Game bred tonight. Oh, strong punch there by Diaz. He's fainting with the punch. All right, first round is underway. You know as a submission specialist, he doesn't want to hang out on the feet for too long. Of course, every round begins on the feet but he's gonna try to take this fighter down, get it to the canvas, and try to lock up one of his submissions. Caught him with a punch. Masvidal, slower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swell. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. That one hurts. Successfully avoids the clinch. And connects there. And now that jab starting to get established. Tags him. In the 
chance of Diaz ring through the crowd. Right hand upstairs. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Very good job of timing these punches. Diaz gets the single leg takedown. And he connects there. Beautifully executed sweep. Two minutes to go. Found the target with that left hand, Joe. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, he's got the arm, Joe, trying to set up an arm bar here. He pulled his arm out of it. Yeah, this ain't good for Masvidal. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Gabriel. Back to full mount again. Nice hammer fist. Back up. Switching stances here. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice. Wow, yet another punch to the head by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Oh, tagged him. Yeah, he's getting lit up here. The oh, horn sounds round. for the end of round one. And that's what started everything off, that beautiful jab. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Beautiful, beautiful. Everything is going beautifully. Just do the exact same thing. Just set it up. Just be smart with the setup. Throw some water. Brittany Palmer is here as well. had their moments. Looked like at times they were just getting warmed up a little bit, perhaps a little bit of a feeling out process over that first minute. What's your thoughts on what we saw there in that first round? Oh, he snaps off the ball. Oh, he tagged him! This fight is dangerous and close to being stopped. He's got him right here. Hard straight punch. Both guys landing big shots. Oh! Big punches. He is going after it here. Oh! oh! Some real power shots here. Big shots! This could be it. Big straight punch. Well, Joe, he seems to have his opponents tying down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he can change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attempt. Oh, and he connects there. And he gets reversed. executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. He takes the back. Very nice sweep, winds up in his opponent's guard. And a hammer fist. He establishes back control. A little bit uneventful. This is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Gabriel. Yeah, he's back in the half guard here. Masvidal gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yep. Eats a jab there. Then 
Both guys really throwing with authority. Gamebred gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. And now he's got the tie clinch. Diaz gets double underhooks. Not good for the opposition here. Man, the submission attempts keep on coming. Going for a choke now. And he's out. That's a good shot from the bottom. Ten seconds to go. He's looking to take the back. And that's the end of round number two. And here we go. Let's take a look at some of this action here. And here's a nice punch that lands clean. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. Right there, you control everything on the ground. You just take him down again. Position for submission. Remember that. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. Execution. That knee might have landed there. He just caught, got caught with a left hook. Battling for hooks. Good one two by Nate. Now he goes for the single leg. Oh, and down. Full guard here. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. And he's out of the guillotine. Back up again. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Great job landing a series of punches. Clean, hard shot to the head with that hook. Diaz and try to further expose what surfaced tonight as an obvious Connects there with the punch. He's gonna try to take the back. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He gets his back. Armbar, armbar. Let's take a look here. Big power on this punch and results in a knockdown. 
Let's take a look at that again. And let's look at that from another camera angle. Ariane Celeste on hand. Schedule for five, five minutes. Oh! He got hurt very, very badly. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, a huge block there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Back and forth we go. Masvidal gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. He's fainting with that kick. Nice. He has his all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's got one here. He threw an incredibly large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And here we see it from another camera angle. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rogliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gainbred Masvidal. All right, so congratulations to Jorge Masvidal on yet another outstanding UFC showing. This guy just knows how to perform when the lights are the brightest. He has always taken on all comers, and more often than not, he gets his hand raised. Mission accomplished once again tonight for Masvidal. Yeah, homie G, the code MC.